like flash, hoping I don't fucking crash. You just a flick of my ass. Heard you shit to be honest, ass. Missing class, bricks of the grass. I spend the stack and I make it right back. Yo, Michael Dini, I'm up in the trap. If I had a genie, wish my head is black. Never gon' lag, bitch, we pistol pack. Run up on me, yo, shit gon' get whack. All of the hate is just motivation. I keep the gas like a gas station. Back wood with a hit of face and mask on and off like I'm fucking Jason. Blue honey, bitch, I ain't basic. Basically, these bitches be hating, but I ain't even worried about the rain. Cause I'm on the ground like a skater skating. He ain't blazing that boy, faking. I'm so high, I don't know what I'm chasing. I just know that that shit ain't escaping. I get the chance, I'ma fucking take it just to tell my people that we fucking made it. Handshakes for the ones who paid it. And middle fingers to the ones who traded. No scars, I read it, so 380. Back to the trap where it's going crazy. Sleep when you die, got me feeling lazy. These real diamonds, boy, no full gazes. So why the fuck a goofy trying to play me? You to run it up and stop back and shady. Stop worried by your fucking lady. Cause she with me now, that's why you fucking hate me. To a no song, Ron Brady. Damn. What's good with y'all, man? Let's get it. Hey, so look. Y'all gotta hit that to 30K. I forgot to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? I tried to drop it in the description. 30,000 views. I just did the video, the music video, Friday. And I got court tomorrow. So, what I'm gonna do for court tomorrow, before we start this video, I just wanna, wanna say thank y'all for everything. Right? 30K for the bars. Got court tomorrow. Um, let me just explain to y'all what I'm gonna do. So, if I'm gonna, if I do less than a month, like if they give me that much time, I'm gonna hop on it, you know, so I could just get it out the way, come back out, start fresh, and do what I gotta do. Now, if they give me over a month, I can't leave y'all for over a month. Y'all gotta understand that as much as I feel it, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all gotta feel me as much as I'm feeling it. Because I cannot leave, damn, this smells so fucking good, bro, I'm telling y'all. Oh, we, bro. It's nothing like that first smell. Like in the morning, you know, like your senses are really, how do you say, like awesome. So, anyway, so we're going to have a story time today, as y'all can see in the title. Um, you know, it's just me and a couple friends. We were trying to have fun and we got arrested for it. I've told this story before, like on my old channel or whatever, but like I'm going to get into the, de the details, you know what I'm saying? The funny details and all that shit. So. Hope y'all enjoy, guys. Um, you know what I'm saying? More story segments coming and all that. Tomorrow, I might record before court um, and post a video before court. I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what to do, to be honest. But I'm just going to record probably in the courtroom, too. I don't know. But y'all just um, like for that. Y'all let me know what y'all want to do. I probably like, I don't know. But let's get started on this video because... This is funny as hell, so so we like to have fun, right? Back then, we used to do parkour, all that stuff. If y'all don't believe me, I'm going to look it up right now. Um, one second, guys. One second. My bad. All right, so I, I looked it up. This is me. People like, oh, get an iPhone, get an iPhone. Trust me, bro. I got money. I can do what I want. It's Mr. Steel, girl. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna show y'all me. Hold on, hold on. Hold up, man. Hold on, my friends. Hold up. Alright, check out what the fuck I used to do, son. Oh my goodness. That's me right there, guys. The blue shorts. Head ass. Yeah, that's me, though. So we used to have fun like that, right guys? And we used to climb on stuff. If y'all don't know where that's at, that's Breckenbridge, Breckenbridge Park. We used to climb on buildings and we used to find random stuff, you know what I'm saying? We used to actually like explore, you know, like, like real explorers do. And we used to go out and, you know, risk our lives just for like fun. And it was crazy because that was fun to us, was risking our life and the adrenaline or whatever you call it. And it just, it made me awesome, you know, I could do 
front flips, back flips, side flips. I could do a lot of parkour. I could get away from cops fast. I could run fast. You know, it helped me a lot at the long run. I could do front flips off roofs and shit. Like, I was doing that, you know, and it's amazing because it just takes practice and you could do anything you put your mind to it. When I first did a front flip off a roof, I felt like it was in a movie. But then I started doing it over and over and everybody that I looked around was like, wow. And me, it's like normal. But it was pretty scary, you know, the first time I just said, you know what? Boom, because my homie says no hesitation. If you hesitate, you're going to mess up. You might fail. And if you fail, you might die. So I couldn't die. So I had to do what I had to do. But anyway, so one day we were at this school. And this is my little brother's school. It was called Brewer Elementary. And um, we're like at, we're like doing our parkour thing. It was me, Augustus, E, and another person. This is not the E from the last time. This is another homie. So anyway, so um, we're we're doing parkour, right? It's homie R, homie E, and homie Augustus, whatever. Boom. So we we're 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 on this school and we're just like parkour, you know what I'm saying? Doing roof gaps and stuff. There's like this big roof gap that we all did, and somebody saw us. He said it looked dope. When he was passing by, you just see someone jumping from roof, roof to roof. It looked dope. So, we continued to do that. Then we climbed up this one building, right? And, like, we saw this fire hatch. The thing about this was it was, like, already kind of open. So, Augustus, he's the first one who did it. So, Augustus lifts, lifts the fire hatch open. And, um... We go inside like we're freaking idiots. Like we weren't even breaking the law. Like we were just, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know. But we were just having fun, you know. And then finally, like, we go into this fire hatch. But we didn't even think it was part of the school. Like I didn't, honestly. I just, like it's broad daytime. We're not trying to steal nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not trying to do none of that. We're just trying to explore. So we go down and then that's when homie is trying to, homie is trying to steal so, stuff. But there was nothing to steal. Like, where we went in, there was nothing but a juice box and a bag of marshmallows. Like, the big bag of marshmallows. So, what ended up happening was, they dipped. It was homie A and homie E. They dipped because we heard a silent alarm. Like, you could hear it kind of. Like, it was like, beep, beep. <laughs> there she goes. Up. Beep. I'm like, oh, shit, it's a silent alarm. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. Boom. So, they go upstairs and they jump off this roof that we got on. There is no way I'm jumping off that. It was like 30 feet. 30 feet. I'm not even hyping, y'all. 30 feet in the air. But we know how to jump off stuff like that. But at the time, I was like, uh, homie R was giving me doubts. Homie R was like, nah, I ain't doing that. I'm going to go out through the, through, through the downstairs. So then we go back inside the building. Homie runs. He gets the juice box. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I get the marshmallows because I was hungry as hell. You know what I'm saying? We're parkouring. You know, we didn't even eat breakfast. I don't even believe Boom, I freaking leave through the through the door and then we just run, right? And no, I didn't even run. We were just walking. And then homie R is like, bro, cop, cop, cop. So I'm, I didn't even look. I just fucking jumped this fence and this fence had like pokey things hanging up. So my hands got cut. Like, I didn't even care. Like the adrenaline was so much. Like I didn't even feel nothing. So I jumped this fence like nothing, like real quick, bro. Like, like a little fence, you know what I'm saying? But it was like a good eight feet fence, you know? And I just jump it real quick, boom. And we start chopping it. And I, I drop my bag of marshmallows. Homie dropped his bag of juices or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, we, we're running, we're running. And then we go to, like, we go to this, we're in this apartment. It's right across from the Brewer Elementary. And then we're staying there, right? We're just chilling there. And it's right across, it's, like, right in the street area. And we're just chilling and no cops are coming. We thought it was nothing. I'm like, you sure you saw a cop? He's like, yeah, bro, there was a cop, there was a cop. I was like, oh, all right, bet. So, boom, we thought we got away, right? And then um, homie's like, bro, should we go back for the juices? And I'm like, yeah, the marshmallows too. So, boom, we're going back for the juices and the marshmallows. You never return to this crime scene. Like, the, the, you know, they always tell you that on the movies and shit. So, we do that stupid shit. And there's some lady. Well, first off, I see some fat kid with his shirt off and some big old hamburger titties eating my marshmallows. I'm like, oh, what the hell? That... What? No. He eating our... And he was enjoying them, bro. I'm talking about he had some on the floor. He was stuffing them in his mouth, bro. He was going ham on them hoes. I was like, oh, man. That... Damn. Her, his mom comes around the corner. They're right here. They're right here. We're like, oh, fuck. So we start chopping it again. Boom, 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 boom. This time we go across from the... It's the same apartments, but we go across the street into, like, another part of the apartment complex. 
So boom, there's like 30 people right there just chilling, right? And boom, we try to blend in. But I, I have a purple shirt with the jacket on, and this purple shirt was like neon purple. It was like so obvious. And the other, my other homie had like white shorts on and something like that. So the description was already on point. Like I, I didn't even think about that, you know? I thought we could play it off. So I fucking, we walk into this crowd and we just like walk all slow, like pretend like we're inside this crowd and we just blend it in. But then you just hear, this is all you hear. Boom, I just see my homie fall right on his face and me right on my chin, boom. But it wasn't hurting him on my chin. Like I wish I landed just on my head or something. I landed right on my stomach and his fat ass, it was like a, like a 300 pound cop. I don't even know how he ran that fast from his car. I don't even know, but all I heard was Boom, when we're on the ground, right? And I'm talking about my his knees were on our backs. And I had, like, the runs that day. It was not a pretty picture. So, anyway, we get up, and I have a sack on me. I have, like, a nick sack or whatever inside my jacket in the compartment inside. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had those jackets. They have an inside compartment. He didn't check none of that. He checked, like, my regular pockets or whatever. We were about to go to the jail and um, or the juvenile. And he said, if y'all have anything, let me know now because if you... If we find it in the juvenile, it's a felony. So I said, oh, yeah. I got some crumbs on me or whatever. Boom. He finds this. He's all like, yaddy, yaddy, um, shut up, pothead. I'm like, oh, man, okay. Like, damn, it took it that far. Then, long story short, it was just like, I did two weeks for just, oh, like, this is the bad part. This is the most bad part about it all. It's like, you gotta watch out what your friends do. Just because your friends do something, that doesn't mean you gotta do it too. So where I freaked up at is where when they went inside the school, I went inside after them. I should have said, nah, you know, I should even told them, don't do that. Like, you know there's probably an alarm or something like that. And once we heard the alarm, we were outy. But at the same time, it was like, two of the homies got away, but me and R got caught up, right? R got released the same day. I did two weeks for the marijuana, I guess. I don't even know, to be honest. But it's like, it's crazy to think about because we have, I don't know, we have our own mindset. Like, sometimes you got to be the leader if you see somebody doing something stupid. You know, just because the other person says it's okay. And you know it's not okay. Just do what you got to do because at the end of the day, I was in my jail cell alone. I was in that bitch alone. He was, homie R wasn't in there with me. You know what I'm saying? I went to court alone. I got probation alone. I did all that all by myself. You know? Homie R didn't help me out one bit. I came out, he was chilling, doing what he do, not even worried about me. No one sending letters to me. No one doing none of that for me. When I did six to nine months, bro, I got out. I didn't get one fucking letter from none of my homies. Why you think I ain't got all the homies I used to chill with? I don't even fuck with them no more like that. Because I know when I was locked up, six to nine months, I ain't get no mail. Homie was locked up. I, I, You know what I'm saying? I'm like, how can I write him? Telling his girl to tell him what's up. Telling his girl to tell him when he gets out, I got him. And sure enough, when he got out, I got him. Because that's the person I am, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know his family like that, and I know his family likes from is from like other city and shit. But like, if his family was around and I did know his family like that, I would help out his family, you know, buy them groceries and shit like that, and do what I gotta do as a real homie. But people be fake, man, because ain't nobody offered my grandma groceries, ain't nobody offered my grandma shit, ain't nobody gave me mail. I ain't get no phone calls, like I ain't get none of that shit. None of that from none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Not, not not my fans because I didn't really have a fan base back then. I was barely about to hit 1K subscribers when I first got out. But I made this shit. I made this nothing or something. A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people would think I broke up with 100K sub subscribers. You're tweaking. I remember I was tied up with some people. Now I'm fucking 15 times that. You know what I'm saying? Like just... I've been grinding hard, working hard, and that's from me, not from anybody else, you know? I became my own fo my own follower. I became my own boss, you know? I became my own leader, you know? And sometimes you got to do that. If, if, 
if you not doing what you got to do and something's going on and and just it's just not right you got to take another path if you keep on doing this and it keeps and you keep on failing it's time to take another path oh you in the game and they're doing petty ass deals it's time to take another path you know you got to do what you got to do switch your level up if this not working do this this not working do this because you can't stay stuck in the same spot if you know it's not working and you're still in that same spot what kind of person are you you got to fix your problems not just sit on them because when you sit on them another problem pops up now you got more problems then guess what you got so much problems you can't even solve them no more it's too late you want to solve your problems as quickly as possible i'm going to court i'm doing that you know and if they give me some quick time, I'm doing that. And I ain't worried about nothing. People get hanged in there. People get killed in there. People, all that, you know. I just pray that God's with me because I don't want that for me, you know. I have a life ahead of me. But at the same time, if if that's what it is, then that's what it is. That's that's what I got to do. Same time, I'm scared of being cloned, you know. I You never know, man. You, you I know I sound probably stupid as hell, but... You never know that one day you're in your cell, you're asleep, someone comes in, boom, they get your ass out of there, you go to a cloning facility, they never see you again, you're a second generation clone, and y'all wouldn't even know, unless someone tells y'all. I got tattoos, if y'all don't see these tattoos, y'all know, it's not me, you know? I got a mole right here, ah, right. They might fucking do all that, you know, in the cloning process. So they they will think I'm not a clone. That's why I'm kind of scared to go to jail because this shit is real, though. I do know a lot of info, and you never know if they want that out of me. You never know if they want to know what I know. Because they don't know what I know, and y'all don't know what I know. And if I tell y'all what I know, it's just too much for y'all. It's a little too much. But I just want to say there was camp trucks the other day. Back cam trails and we got them in the music video. We got them in the music video. The next day it was fucking storming. Does that make sense to you? It's kind of weird, huh? How it's so hot and sunny and the cam trails come. They spread out. And those same clouds, those same cam trails that spread out turn into those thunder clouds. Black, dark, ugly clouds. Nasty. You know it's nasty pollution. So guess what, guys? Look up, because I've seen in people's stories, I've seen in people's pictures, chemtrails. Look up, California. I don't care where you're at. I've seen this in California. I've seen this in Houston. I've seen this all around, you know what I'm saying, the states. Look up, chemtrails. Look in your tap water. Look really close. Get a magnifying glass like I do and put it in a clear glass. Make sure everything's spick and span clean so you know it's not the water. Boil the water. Just tell me what you find. Do all these experiments and tests just so y'all can understand and like really understand, not just hear, but listen and really understand what the fuck's going on these, these days, you know? To be honest, I'm just trying to live my best life. Yesterday, I spent so much money out. Like, and the other day for the music video, I spent so much money, you know, I bought some Gucci or whatever. But it's just like I'm trying to live my best life. I'm not going to be here forever. And I don't want to regret something. I don't want to regret me not doing something. So everything I want, I'm going to get. Regardless if it takes time or not. Just know that 